So this one happened a few days ago now, possibly a week. I became lucid in a dream where I was walking with my mom and my sister through what appeared to be a downtown area of a larger city than the one that I live in. Or a newer city, at least. And uh, the first thing that I wanted to do was try to manifest something. A tasty snack is always preferable. So I tried to manifest an icy. And this time I used a method that is different than the one that I used last time. Last time it did work. Um, but this time I used a method that is more recommended and that definitely proved to be more effective. And what I did was I began to visualize uh, the icy. Not only visualize it, but think about what it feels like in your hand and what it tastes like and the coldness, you know. And uh, that worked real soon. Within five seconds, I looked to some direction in front of me and I found an icy just sitting there. I tasted it, took a slurp. It was pretty good. Last time I manifested an icy, a while ago, months ago probably, not that long, but I've only been lucid dreaming regularly for about a year. But anyways, what I did last time was I repeated the name icy, or the word icy, and just waited for it to manifest, right? And it did work. It just took a while longer. And actually the icy that appeared was a lot smaller. It was like a kid-sized drink at McDonald's kind of size, like Happy Meal drink. Better than nothing. Uh, but this other method worked a lot faster, and the IC was the size that I wanted, so it's pretty good, I think. And then I decided to try and manifest, I don't remember what it was that I was trying to manifest. Maybe it was cheesecake. Uh, but I do know that what appeared was not what I was trying to manifest. What it was that appeared was cheese, just like a straight up slice of cheese. And I think some ham, too. So yeah, but it did work the first time, and uh, I'm happy with that. Next, what happened was a false awakening. I found myself false awakening, oh, oh, false waking up. Yes. In my room, um, laying on my back, on my bed, and there were uh, some creepy toys, some creepy, like, live toys, like, kind of like how you see in the movie... Frick, what is that called? The freaking uh, Santa Claus's sadistic twin brother. I know it. I swear. I promise. Krampus. In the movie Krampus, which is about Krampus, if you've seen it, uh, those little toys that come to life and they're friggin' demonic, these toys that appeared in my dream were not that demonic or scary. In fact, I didn't even see them directly. I only saw out of the corner of my eye, I saw one. And then I saw the shadows of some moving around. I saw the shadows kind of moving across my wall in front of me, seeming to indicate that they were behind me because the window was behind me. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean. And normally what I do when I want to get rid of some scary stuff is I chase the thing away and normally they disappear. But this time I was lying in bed and so instead of getting up, and then chasing them. What I did instead was visualizing them not being there. And it worked. So yeah, they always, in, in all the videos that I watched about lucid dreaming, visualizing was always the emphasis that was, you know, emphasized. Um, I don't know why I wasn't using this method before. <laughs> but you know what? I am now. So you know what? Good. So, after this, another dream change happened. I was now again with my mom, this time in a mall, a two-story mall. Very fancy, for me at least, around these parts. And I was exploring, you know, chilling, enjoying the dream. And I came across a room that was isolated and dimly lit. There was no artificial light, such as light bulbs. There was only light coming in from the windows. Sunlight, in other words. <laughs> So I walk into this room, it's a bit spooky, but not really that spooky, and I uh, find that there's several pianos, not big pianos, not grand pianos, and not nice pianos, very old looking pianos, antique, I suppose, but not in good condition. And uh, 
I started playing one. A very nice song erupted from the keys as I tickled them with my fingers, as one does, right? Whenever I'm making up a song in a dream, it always comes out really cool. Like, if you try to write, write a song in real life, you can, obviously, right? But it's almost like, it's almost like the song, the song is inside you when you're trying to hear it, or you're trying to draw it out, you know? But when, when you're in a dream, it's like, the song is inside you, but you don't have to draw it out, or you don't have to strain to listen to it, or strain to hear it, because you're inside you now. So the song just comes effortlessly. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, I suppose if you wanted to write a song, lucid dreaming would be very helpful. Uh, the only problem, I think, would be trying to remember how it went once you've woken up. Because that's something I've never managed to do. I would like to try that one day, just like specifically have a lucid dream just to write a song and try to remember it when I wake up. Um, but anyways, that was pretty cool. But I was, as I was playing the piano, the keys stopped working as if the strings inside the piano disappeared. So that was a bit of a bummer. Uh, so then I left. I was like, well, you know what? Oh well, moving on. And then what, is, what else happened? Let me consult my dream journal in digital form. Uh, that was everything of note that happened, other than the usual trying to stabilize the dream. A little bit of flying here and there. Oh, when I was in the first part of this dream, when I was manifesting the icy and the cheese and whatnot, um, the cheese appeared in a very high shelf. And so to get at it, I, you know, I didn't fly, but I did the thing that is basically flying. Because what I, when I fly, what I do is I just jump up and I start flying. Uh, but this time, I jumped up just enough to reach the cheese at the top shelf, which was maybe like 15, 12 feet in the air. Not that high. And, uh, and then I allowed myself to just float back down. So that was pretty chill. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this lucid dream log. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Hope you like my new setup. <laughs> I'm sitting in a recliner, and I think myself clever because of it. Um, but yeah, hopefully you noticed I've got a new webcam. It's a little bit nicer. I've got a new microphone. It's a lot nicer than the internal microphone in my laptop. So you should be able to hear me without having to maximizing maximize the volume on your own device, whatever it may be. Um, yeah, also what I want to do, you know, in the spirit of upping the quality around here, uh, use thumbnails for once. I mean, you know, make make a thumbnail with words on it instead of just using a random screenshot from the video. I'll still use a random screenshot, screenshot from the video, but I'll put words above it. Quality. Quality is gonna be happening around here, so I hope you're into that. I will kind of miss the, I don't know, the kind of Ch chillidness, as it were, of just recording a rinky-dink video, not worrying about the thumbnail, because I like that kind of thing. I don't know why, that's just me. But at the same time, I do feel that it is time to upgrade at least a little bit. Nothing, this new webcam and this new little microphone, neither of them are expensive. Uh, can I, can you get into the shop? Can you, can you please, oh hi. There you are. That's my teeny little microphone. Uh, not too much of an upgrade, but definitely an upgrade, I would say. Um, I think it sounds great. I think the new webcam looks great. And yeah, I hope you guys like it. I hope you're into this, because I am. I'm down to put a, a little bit more care into the production, production value, is that the term, of these vids. Um, so yeah. I will stop rambling now, and I will bid you adieu. So, thank you for watching, and all that. Peace out.